Do you know what month it is? Fuck you, it's January! Good afternoon, good, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. How y'all doing? It's Kaiser, and yep, it is, uh, it is January. It is the time of year when the studios... Drop all the horrible stuff that they really want you to forget very quickly. And they just get the hell out of Dodge. And speaking of things dropping, well, we got to talk about Disney. Because uh, there's apparently not a single thing in 2023 or 2024 that we can talk about without mentioning the dreaded Disney. So, uh, yep, just uh, hold on, folks. Hold on to your butts. Yeah. So, yeah, Disney's in had a massive, massive hit to their uh, to their brand and everything like that. Just even one day into the you know the year of 2024. Let's be completely honest. 2023 was a bad year for Disney. Conservative estimates say that they lost between 1.3 and 1.5 billion dollars at the box office. Amongst that, they had tons of layoffs. They had exceptionally high amounts of, you know, just turnovers. You know, layoffs. They had a low park attendance. The whole thing was just an absolute shit show of a year for Disney. And it just never seemed to let up. And, well, apparently 2024 is um, not going to let up anytime soon. Because as of January 1st, yep, 2024, Disney's earliest Mickey and Minnie Mouse entered public domain as U.S. copyright expires. So, yes, the original Steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse design is now officially public domain and has... Uh, it, it's basically already able to be used and played with and because now copyright no longer applies to it you should be able to go ahead and just you know use it however you want um there have been some slight hiccups i do know that um uh, a, a, a somebody else that i know uh kurt from uh, uncivil law he did actually show the entire cartoon or tried to on a live stream like literally on january 1st and they took his entire stream down and yeah, he had to petition, I believe to get that back just because I guess somebody hadn't read up on the news lately over at, at Google and alphabet, but apparently that's just their thing. But yeah, so yeah, these are like, this is kind of where things kind of get interesting. So I, after all of that is said and done, now that this is public record, well, what what does that really entail? What's uh, what's going on with this? Well, oh, Mickey Mouse is already being brutally abused in the public domain. Oh, I am so shocked that that happened. Uh, allow me to show you exactly how shocked I am. Not at all. Quote, the first iteration of Mickey and Minnie Mouse have hit public domain with many wasting no time in appropriating the famous characters. January 1st is public domain day and the Disney character Steamboat Willie from the short film of the uh, same name is now in the public domain, meaning people can use it for free in almost any way they see fit. Mickey Mouse has come to define the entire Disney brand and made his first appearance in the 1928 cartoon Steamboat Willie, which is now enter the public domain after 95 years since its release. Now that Steamboat Willie is entering public domain, Disney will no longer be able to prevent other artists or companies from using its likeness of the character as he appeared in that short. People got straight into reworking the Steamboat Willie campaign. I think I meant it's supposed to be cartoon, but whatever. Imagining him with in everything from an anime version to many people creating horror stories of the character. Others imagined Willie in a um, <clears throat> more of a adult manner. We'll just say that. <laughs> or a violent criminal carrying weapons and, you know, knives and other such instruments of uh, long-range hole punching. 
Emmy Award winning or is it Emmy winning director Jason Gallagher claimed to be one of the first people to create something in the public domain, Willie. He made a montage of clips from the film with colored panels over the top and images in sync with Cardi P Cardi B's hit rap song from 2020 WAP. Oh god. Yeah, that's um Yeah, you really that's that's definitely what we wanted to see there. <laughs> And I'm sure that it's only going to get more ridiculous and insane from there, from some of the things that I've heard. I haven't gone looking, but I've heard that apparently there's some, um, there's already some particularly raunchy stuff out there involving Mickey Mouse. And look, I'm sure it was going to happen anyway, but I, but I got to be completely honest with you. If you look at the whole Disney brand and everything that Disney has done over the last several years, especially, it's not hard to see why a lot of people who used to love Disney are getting back at them in these, you know, petty, vengeful ways. Because, frankly, sometimes people just need a little bit of release from the humdrum of their lives. And, well, there's not a lot to do right now because uh, it's that time of year. January! <laughs> anyway, guys, that's all I got for today. That's all I got for this particular story. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Definitely go down there, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace.